break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Come and sing with me, there is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. been so good since February when February was any when they locked us down God opened another door for never give up so we give God all the glory the honor and all the praise and we are thankful so much to the vision bearer Pastor Isaac Chebechewes and uh, his wife Sasha and the entire team of Kansang Medical Center administrators and everybody working behind the, the scenes to make this program's lunch hour morning due to be so awesome and so impactful. We thank them. We thank our pastor. We greet you wherever you are. And our mama. So, welcome to an a program. And we'll never give up until the battle is over. Karuna Mulunji, Atukozi Mulunji, Nyo, 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 Nyo. 
we don't regret. We are full of energy. We are full of aspiration. We are full of hope to do the subinesanyo. Manyuma atwe kase koda banji ku Facebook, abala ku YouTube, nabali ku live ku Lest TV, ku channel zona zitu koze sa Star Time, Go TV, ne free to air. Kanda atwa de chisa tumwe wa zanyo jatule seno. Tuwe wa zaka tonda. Makani sagamu ga gudewo. Nina fe kansang meloko senta. Kumina munana. Kumina munana ukitopo tugenda kubandu le nzichi. Ne katonda anara anara gechiti wache. Musume ja kongelo baka kasa program. Mezu za bandi mbali ntubuza tugula wodina ye. Sayo nabwa anajia kupane na jia kongela. Owe nchaba edawe. Nchaba jia kwa nafe morning dew ni mula nchawa. Aja clarifying how we're going to be opening up the church that we may have fellowship again. I can't wait to see faces of men of you who have been seeing us at the We are expectant and aspiring to see your faces one more time. So, never, never give up until the battle is over. Omaka tugutwaliriza. Tugutwaliriza. Tusigaza October, November, ne December. Na ye tukiriza. Nakatunda wali omuna munti. Tugenda guja mwubu juli zisi. Tani ne mizimu ne misamba. Chebita subida. Tufuru muma kakunu nwubu juli zi. So, yonge lo kunyiki lo kuweda ku never give up. Kupanga yimu kupogo mwja. Mkama jotera u. O kutugu ya amba. O kutuye musa. O kutulu ngamia. O gazi ya mudulo bulongata ya fe. No kuonge lo kutuonge le chisa. Muli nyele ya mkama wafe. Yesu Christo. Nyonge lo kutumi la basu mbabu nabi. Ya nafiku never give up. O mutume bunjo. O mutume chimuli. Na basu mbabu nabu na pasta kalim. Dudo kulaba. Pasta wasaka. Pasta kaya. Pasta gladison. Naba chala mwini naba nituka na okumande naba amin. Naba tumi denyo mwami dombo ni mchala bakade ni mrs. bayingana ni mchala mwami bayingana. Naba alabu ni naba tuwa na feku proyeku. Never give up tuwa ni liza tuonge doba tumida mwini nyele mkama wafi. Yesu Christo mnazaresi. Oluale lo. Oluale lo mkama yata dechi lo uze chini ni mutima guango. Kuleta grupu jie muta alaba anko. Kasoketa nika never give up grupu ya ilia wakati yao. Toge dina bachala, bakuulu watu budi dhibio kola, bana watu budi dhibio kola na yeye, mbadhi dhese tangu group eli wakatia au, eli wakatia au, group e balancing, abato, abakuulu, ito emira wakatia au, ni wairo ni na pane ni, gina kwa kabantu ba sato, woku na chali mukubo, I mean woku sato chali mukubo, sowe la jiko tu, kama angu na eba na ababi ni bain tani sana wakamu zeba ba buseko, of course sawa singa tibombi tiba flowing anyo muluganda, so I will encourage them to. Hey, greet us, Evie. Yes, Pastor. Can you greet the viewers who never give up and tell them your names? Good evening, beloved viewers. Um, my names are Inapo Ivy Mildred. For starters, I'd like to thank the lead pastor of Kansanga Miracle Center, Pastor Chiwewe C. Isaac, and your beautiful wife. Thank you so much for letting our voices be heard. Um, as I told you earlier on, my name is Inapo Ivy Mildred. I'm a principal HR consultant with ABS Consulting Group. Aside from that, I'm a businesswoman. Um, I, I co-own a hardware. I am big on uh, tree growing and uh, real estate. Yes. Um, lastly, I am a lover of Christ. I'm a lover of people and I'm a lover of... Uh, Beautiful things, if I should say. Yes. Welcome, 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 Ivy. Ivy who? Inapo. Ivy Inapo. Ivy Inapo. Ivy Inapo. Yes, I'm from Kabla Maido district. You're I'm from Kab Kabla Maido. Yes. What language is that? Kumam. It's a Kumam language. Yes. What does Kumam. that mean, Kabla Maido? Um, um, Kabla Maido. We are actually a people between. Um, Amulata and Soroti district. You, you pick up the voice a bit. You are people from? We are people between Amulata district uh, and Soroti district. So what tribe is that? Kumam tribe. Kumam tribe? Yes. Kumam tribe, yes. They don't talk so much about that tribe there. Kumam. Oh, we are there. We are actually few in number, but we are very powerful people. Are you sure? Yes, <laughs> we are very powerful. <laughs> I actually think we are the chosen. You're from the chosen that region, what? yes. Chosen how? By who? We are chosen by virtue of how we carry ourselves. Um, we are very successful. We are very hardworking people. Um, 
We are beautiful people. Yes. <laughs> so, yes, that's why I say we are the chosen. Good but above all, we love God. Where do you go to church? I go to church. I go to Worship Harvest Ministries. Worship Harvest Ministries. Yes. Where is it? Uh, our our lead location is in Nalia. Nalia. But we have uh, 14 other locations and God has 14 been... 14 other locations. Yes. We have 14 other locations. God has been gracious to us that even during lockdown, we actually opened four other locations. You opened a church in lockdown? Yes. We opened four locations. Who is the pastor? Pastor Mukisa Moses. Actually, Apostle Mukisa Moses. Apostle Mukisa Moses. Yes. Hey, I, but I think he doesn't know you are here because I just bounced on you. <laughs> yes. But he will soon know. Yes. And by the way, I'm hosting Apostle Mo, Apostle Mokisa here on the 13th, I think. He will be oh, here. Oh, wow. So I am to, so honored. It will be good to hear what he's doing, God has, how God has helped him to do such a great work. Yes, yes. So I'll, I'll come back to you. Now, my next guest on the panel, tell us your names, talk to the viewers. Yes. Uh, good evening, viewers. My name is Rosette. I remember us. I uh, want to thank God for today. I want to thank God for this opportunity to talk to you viewers. I've always enjoyed this show almost every day. Uh, but I think today is my time to be watched. <laughs> um, I want to thank God for our senior pastor, Pastor Isaac Chobechwawe. I also want to thank God for Pastor Roland. You've done a great work on this show. So many lives have been touched. So many lives have been changed. And uh, we've learned so many things. Uh, may God continuously use you as we continue to talk to, to reach to so many people out there. Um, Rosette is a, a social work educator. Um, I'm also a business lady. I try to do businesses here and there. Um, in real estate, I'm in construction, I'm in agriculture, and some other few things. You are loaded, you ladies here. <laughs> you know, that's why I brought them here, because they are loaded. They are loaded. But I'm going to ask them again questions one by one. I'm going to ask them again questions one by one. No, Pastor, we are not nervous. <laughs> this is our time. Temutia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eve, again, uh, what do you do again? I'm, uh, I'm an HR consultant. HR consultant. What is that? Yes. HR consultants basically do management consulting. We do recruitments. We do trainings. We, we do uh, job evaluations. Basically, we provide uh, services, HR services, to organizations. So they hire us to do that work for them. So you work for an organization that works for other organizations? Yes, I work for an organization that works for other organizations. What do you mean by the word HR? Human resource management. Human resource management. Yes. Of course, in any organization, the major thing that holds up the organization is people. Okay. Yes. So for us, what we do is we go and provide solutions to ensure people are, you keep your people. people your people are motivated. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that is basically, in a nutshell, what we do. So what else do you do? I'm a businesswoman. You are also a businesswoman? Yes, I'm a businesswoman. I co-own a hardware, a hardware own store. a hardware store. Yes, I co-own a hardware store. Mm. Then uh, on top of um, co-owning a hardware store, um, we are also big on real estate. Mm. So I basically, um, we, have a, we have a company mm. that deals with, we, we have a hardware, then we are big on real estate, then we are also big on agro, agroforestry. Then we are also big on agroforestry. Yes, so those are the main three businesses that, uh, that I am involved in. But aside that, I'm a minister for God. Yes. So, um, God's business is my main business. All these other things I'm telling you about uh, pastor, those are side businesses. But God's business is my main business. So how do, how do you manage that life? You are a consultant, you are mm. business, you yes. are ministry. How do you do that? God's grace is sufficient. God can't give you what you can't handle. So how I manage that is um, I, I, I'm a person who is scheduled. So 
I shared you my day, I shared you my week. So let's say maybe in the morning, the first things I do is I wake up and have my moment with God, about an hour with God. Then, of course, uh, I head off to work. But now, uh, after work, that is now when I go and handle my other businesses. So my day is basically scheduled. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Lucette. Yes, Pastor. What do you do? Um, like I said before, I'm a social work educator. Mm. I am a social work by profession. Mm -hmm. So I pass on that knowledge to other people. I teach at a university level. You teach at the university level? Yes, please. So you are a lecturer? Yes, Pastor. At the university. Which university is that? Uh, KIU. KIU. Yes, okay. Uh, what else do you do? Um, I do business, uh, buying and selling of land. Okay. Uh, during this lockdown, um, I, I think I'm going into construction. I'm trying to, I'm still studying that, that business. Mm. I'm partnering with someone. So uh, I'm sure I'll be building people's houses. But of course, I'll begin with mine. <laughs> Okay, okay. Program never give up until the buzz. These are the ladies I have. I have to have three, but one of them is a bit stuck. But uh, let's keep going now. Yes. Let's 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 invade because out there, if it, there are so many people watching us, there are so many. Some are on TV, some on Facebook, some others than the diaspora. UK. We are reaching out to many, many people. Uh, my first question to you, Evie, is, uh, you know. You know, there's, a, there's a, an age group there which I want to look at. A young lady after university or after school, not only university, after studies, maybe she dropped out from, uh, from school at P7 or she dropped out at S4, but when she's no longer in school, or when she's, she may be doing part-time schooling, and then some are jobbing, some are not yet. That, that age bracket, it may not be an age bracket, but that, that, category. that category. That category of people, yes. Oh, of people, but especially girls. Yes. That category. There are many of them there. And it's like some of them are victims of the season and the age where we are because it's unpredictable. The economy is unpredictable. When you come to marital uh, status, it's unpredictable. Uh, when it comes to social life, it's like life squeezes that that category of girls there on every side. They are beaten on every side. And here you are, Evie. Here you are. Uh, now, when you meet such a girl, she tells you, I'll finish university. I'm looking for a job. She wants to get married. She wants to get a car. Uh, she wants to have a career. What is the first instinct? When I talk about instinct, yes, you get what I'm talking about. When yes. first get, bofuna echi echi to echi soke da kumaloyo. What direction do you give her about how to maneuver through this life? Um. So um. um the first, actually, the direction I'll give, if, of course, you finish university and now you don't know where to watch to go, what to do next. Before we even get into um, the worldly notions of what I'll do is, what I'll tell that young girl is, the first thing, seek ye the kingdom of God and all the rest will fall into place. So we'll sit and, of course, I'll first tell you about my God. Because he, has, he did wonders for me. I was also at one point in that category. He did wonders for you? Yes, he did wonders for me. You were in that category also? I was also in that category. What happened? I mean, how did you arrive in that category? How did I arrive to that category? Mm. Of course, in our economy. Mm. 12,000 of us have graduated. 12,000. About only, we only have about 5,000 jobs. Go slowly. 12,000 have <laughs> yes, graduated. 12,000 have graduated. And out there, there are about only 5,000 jobs. about 5,000 jobs. Do you, know, do you think people know that? People do not know that. But they don't make research about people it. People do not know that. And actually, let me even take you back, Pastor, to a, to a girl child who is in S6. The first thing that I think we are missing out on is uh, guiding them 
guiding when, them. Yes, guiding them of, you know what, now you're going to finish school, but you know what, your life does not begin and end with school. What In talent do you... Your life does yes. not begin, begin and end, and with, end school. with school. That's very key to note. Yes. Obulamu tebu tandiki la musume, tebu gwe la kusume. Yes. You know, each of us was given, was born with a God-given talent. Our God is so excellent that he gave each and every one of us talent. That, you know, you were born, he knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. So he put in us talents that at times you don't even have to step into school to actually utilize that talent. But do you know the time you spend in school, very few have an opportunity for somebody to tap into their talents. Exactly. Exactly. Actually, that is where the problem is. You know, we should actually, me, if I was to give advice to maybe Ministry of Education, is we start, some of us have made it in life. So we start mentoring these young girls. I pick on like a girl in S1. And I'm like, okay, my daughter, what do you want to do? You will find she's very passionate about cooking. That is the direction I should be pushing her. I should not be sticking to her doing, I don't know, maybe history, geography. No, I should be actually building her cooking skills because that is what will take her head. That is what will take her head. Okay, today you cook when? Uh -huh. When did you, you finish school when? Oh, don't tell me when, okay, because yes. we don't want to capture your age. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I know. Pastor, you know her so well. Hey, hey, forever 25. <laughs> 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 is, it true, is it true that age is just a number? Age is just a number. Okay. Mm. You, finish, you, finish, you, finish, you finish university? What did, what did I, finished, I finished my first degree, then I did my master's. You finished your first degree? Yes, and I did my then master's. Then you had the courage to, to do the master's again yes. before you worked? No, I worked. I worked for about two years. Okay. Then I went and did my master's from the UK. You did even from UK? Yes, I You did. were lucky yourself. Yes, but I was, um, I'm so lucky. I'm one of those lucky few. But I thank, my, I thank God and my parents. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. When you finish that? So I finished. I finished. I finished university. I did a course in information systems. But I came out and worked in the bank. So there was a total mismatch. I did information systems. Information, what is information, information, information systems? Information systems, in short, is about, it's like, it's, it's a more or less an IT course. IT course, okay. Yes. Then I come out and I become a bank teller. So, Pastor Charlie Chin Sawansi, probably I should have stick I should have stuck to that lane of cutting because the information systems, but where are the jobs in information systems? They are not there. There were no jobs. There were no jobs. So I had to start with the very first one, entry point job. Okay, you call that what? Entry, entry point jobs. So you encourage the girl to what those so much in Sula or which right entry. Yes, there's that there are those entry point jobs. Actually, there are so many companies now that have graduate programs. They take you on after university, mm. then you they, they probably give you internship or apprenticeship for about two two years or one year to give you experience. Because I work in the marketplace, I'm a consultant, I recruit. If you do not have experience on your CV really, mm. it will be very hard for me to to, to put you on the short list. So somebody in life needs an entry. Needs an entry point. What did you want to say? What did you want to say? What did you want to even working for free, but you're actually building the skill. So you encourage somebody at least to work for free. You, you rather work for free and build the skill. Give it one year. Everyone started from the bottom and raised up. Even all the CEOs you see around will tell you, before I was, a, I was an office assistant, or I was a mailboy, or Who something. Who is that? The CEOs? Most of the CEOs. Most of them? Yes, yeah, start from the very lower end. You start as an office assistant, or an office attendant. And you work your way up. You so just have to be focused. Talk to them, be man, say, so much, and I'm a stars. Imagine a, somebody with a master. Kubanga, I'm going to tell you, there's a certificate. Not really, mm. but degree pastor. Yes. Chiche, chiche, Entry mass. point, but degree. It's our, it's, it's our economy. Yes, they are actually there. They are actually there. They tell themselves, Bikola. me, I studied this, so I might as well, you know, wait. But again, it is different. Of course, for the science-related courses, mm. or above our university, I mean, you've studied medicine. There's usually an avenue. But Katifaba, Arts, Faba, Singer, you're totally 
So really. Mutwaro kumwe kumi bi yemi mwe kumi tan. Five thousand jobs. So now, then remember the people who graduated before us. Now bachari yo. Bachari yo sebo. Even the ones who graduated two years before us. Now bachari yo. Yet, it's actually, I realize it's easier to get another job when you're on that first job. What? Yes. It's easier to get another job. When you're actually on a job. I don't, I don't understand how somebody would leave, would leave their country. The job that you're going to do the other side is actually here. Probably you're going to work in a, in a kitchen of a hotel. Ogenzeri, they have really treated you so badly, but that opportunity is here also. But you, because you feel you're a degree holder. So what is the difference? What's the difference between you going to Dubai and working in a kitchen, yet you can also have that opportunity here in Africana and support your country? <laughs> and you are, you are, your mind begins to, you begin to look at yourself like, do you get a problem? Once you cut on a number, I, 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 you know, as pastor, as I, as I said before, mm. career guidance needs. We need, we need that guidance. Career guidance. Car career guidance. Not when we are almost entering university, mm. but right from all level, right from all level. Kachunomana is very good, maybe at sciences. Let us, let us, you know, like guide her in that direction of sciences. Let's support her in that way. Let's maybe link her up with mentors who have actually been in that field, who can encourage her that at times it might be hard, but the, uh, the new day will come, the new dawn will come, and actually you'll make it in life. So you began working as a bank teller? I began working as a bank teller. Then I, I was promoted to a loans, uh, a loans officer. How long did you work there? I worked in the bank for two years. As a bank teller? Uh, as a, a bank teller was about eight months. Then a loans officer and back office officer, I think for about uh, one, one, one year and two months. But you began. I began. So you encourage somebody yes. just begin where you are. You have to begin. You have to begin. You have to begin. You have to begin. The world is very competitive. Do not despise the humble beginnings because out of the humble beginnings is where greatness comes from. Program never give up until the battle is over to turn the captains the run in a mbaitechi. Ladies, girls, <laughs> where, where do you put yourselves? We are in between. So the we are not girls. We are not, we, you can call us ladies, but we are in between. We are the, we are the millennials, is it? The millennials? Is that the, yeah, I think so. What do you mean by millennials? Have I seen the common Yes, we were born, uh, we were born when 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 Muzei was was in power, hey. <laughs> <laughs> we respect him and honor him. We're supposed to honor those in authority, even yeah. my leaders, my president. I honor you. So ngasina kuba hogenda wa Ivi, I mean wa Lozette. So you have here, you have a masters. Yes, I have a masters. You went around looking for jobs. You landed to a bank teller. Yes. After my first degree, I went around looking for a job, and, and I landed a bank telling job as my first job. So did you feel comfortable? I did Was feel comfortable. I did feel comfortable. You I didn't? Should, I did feel comfortable. You I did. should I should thank my father for instilling in us okay. the value of hard Your work. Your father helped you? Yes. My father is such a hard worker. And then he also started from the bottom and went up. So he said for us... Uh, a precedent. He said for us a good example that you know what? Start from the humble beginnings and then you'll work yourself up to where you want to actually to, to go. That's yes. awesome. We got on a young man. Rosette. Pastor. Mukama Yavazibi. I mean, a pastor. Eva Gambienti. Bo Ugamba Uktandika Okusoma CN Comedero at CN. Education is not the beginning and the end of everything. So, Omana Amazo Kusoma Bamutiki de Anonya Mirimutajilaba Nonya Zemimusijilaba to the worker. What do you call it? What should I do? Um, actually, Pastor, as 
to me, I wouldn't even want them to first finish their studies. You didn't want to do what? I wouldn't want them to first finish their studies. You get, you get before, I wouldn't encourage a girl, child, a girl child mm. to first finish studies. Mm. Then they start looking for what to do. Okay. Uh, personally, I started working or I started business as maybe as young as 10 years. 10 years? Yes. No, I didn't go to Chapa. I didn't go to Chapa. I didn't go to Chapa. At 10 years. At 10 years. Chicha Kusindika. I may not really tell exactly what pushed me to do that, but um, to talk a little about. <laughs> Uh, about my background, mm. I grew up with um, my grandmother, okay. maternal grandmother. Uh, my mother was a single mother with uh, five children, a very hardworking woman, and I believe I took after her. Okay. But my mom used to stay in town, and for us, uh, we are in the village with our grandmother. So, I don't know what inspired me, but, and I think among my siblings, they also know it. I started working here and there. We did so many odd jobs as young children. At a young age, maybe about, um, about seven or nine, we would carry food on a weekend to take to, for my mother in town so I uh, would do some businesses but behind my mom's back she didn't know that we were doing those businesses where I would um, sell mangoes mm. would carry mangoes move at night 10 kilometers from uh, my village to, to the town where my mom used to I think it was we're just doing it, I don't know for what, because we had everything actually. Basic needs. We had basic needs. Yes. But we had I, I can call it peer pressure because okay. we are so many young ch uh, children, uh, below eighteen of course. So we'd gather. Like you're moving at night, maybe you set off at around around four in the night. You walk a distance of 10 kilometers, go to town, sell mangoes, buy just a few things as children. We eat sweets and all that, and, and go back. Sometimes we didn't even go, back, go, go to, to greet our mother. Uh, then there was a rich man in our area whereby we would go and uh, carry sand for him. He was constructing. So we'd go somewhere collect sand, carry, and uh, maybe everyone would have their own uh, heap, whereby after that they would give us money. Mm. So I did those things, but I didn't know why I was even doing them, because like I said, we had basic needs. So I began like that. Even at home, me, uh, me I dug up to around, up to Maybe campus, I don't know. Oh, I don't yeah. remember. Yes, because when I was in P4, I moved to town. I joined my mother to stay with her. So town Kampala away. No. Yeah. I come from Lukongiri. Lukongiri. Yes. So Wava Muchal Mutawangiri. Yes. So even in town would still we had land uh, in the outskirts of the town. Uh -huh. So we'd still go and dig. So my, uh, my mother brought us up that way, working, working hard. So the upbringing, you take a Yes. Yes. Pastor. So from there, uh, when I joined secondary, I started business also. Wanji. Of envelopes, yes. You know, um, students writing letters. <laughs> yes. So for me, I would, I would sell envelopes. You had no right to. We got to go one day. That's it, Ina. Ninga go to the bar. Then they got to the. I'm a bass. I'm a one day. Um, I used to sell. So, so, but no, it's a good job. We're doing business. Yes. So you, you had an eye of seeing a need. 
Yes. And you turn it into a business. Yes. yes. So I would sell envelopes, I would sell sweets, and those other things. So me, I was making money. I always had money. <laughs> <laughs> so to go back to the question, I wouldn't really want these girls to wait until they finish. They finish. Don't wait until you finish school. Yes, until you finish school. That's you can do it. business mm. as you're studying. Yes. So that after school, you have, you're well grounded. You have, you have where to start from. Even uh, when I'm teaching my students, I always encourage them to begin, to begin some businesses. As a student, it doesn't stop you from studying. Instead of going to clubs, there are those who do clubs. We have so many categories of students. There are those, uh, we now have social media, mm. who spend most of their time on social media. And you find they are always begging for money from uncles, from for anybody, and data. you know. So when they, there, is, there are so many opportunities around them where they can get money from. If you talk about social media, what impact has it done on, on, on the, your, 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 your ladies, the, the ladies of the millennials? What the millennials? Mm. I'm going to start bringing millennials <laughs> continuous and bring many of them. They are there. At what, what, what impact uh, negative and positive has it done on you? I have the positive impact for the millennials who actually have businesses. Uh, social media has acted as the biggest part, platform for, for marketing their goods and services for those ones who have businesses. Then for those ones who do not use it for constructive ways, it has brought about um, so many devices like depression, um, then there's even the, the misuse of social media and then a lot of time wastage. They don't really do much. Somebody will wake up and the first thing they do is go on social media. But you're going on social media not to do something constructive. Somebody is using that social media to sell their, to sell their clothes. As, uh, as Rosette was talking, I was reminded, actually I didn't even start work when I finished campus. I started my business when I was on first year campus. Pastor asked me what I was doing. What were you doing? I would go to a window. I'd wake up early in the morning, 5 a.m. When, when you were at campus? When I was at campus. Wake up at what time? Year, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Yes. And go to a window and get secondhand clothes, bring them to my room, uh, wash them, iron them, and then hang them on my balcony. And fellow students would come and buy. <laughs> Tell me again, where are you now? You, you, you are a consultant. I'm a consultant. And you own? I own a hardware. A hardware. You told me there are two now. There is one. It's, it's one, but by God's grace, we, are ex we have actually expanded. We expanded during lockdown, Pastor. Yes. You are hardware expanded during Expanded. Lockdown. Expanded during lockdown. And the third thing you have? The third thing, we have uh, about 50 acres of pine trees. You have 50 acres of pine trees. Trees. Yes. Yes, Pastor. No, I'm not married. Katimwenyu is in Mabasaja Valley, who are no consultanti, I na hard way, I na ekazemiti makumi atan. Yatan you go kolanga, Jaima Hogusemeko University at Gaina Muchi Moino, Najaye and Goye. Actually, that time Gaza Land had also just opened. So there was an Indian lady who used to uh, sell gold jewelry. So I'd also go and buy from her in kilos and take to the campuses and then sell. Ah, to music, to go out to club. That is it. I actually left university when I had money. I think I had about five million shillings. What? Yes. You left university when you had money. Five million shillings. Five million shillings. Yes. Ngazi koza wa mungo yezo. Ngazi koza wa in that jewelry because it was very lucrative. Let me put it this way. Pastor, now like uh, probably maybe if I bought a, a bracelet like what I'm wearing, like it's from that lady. Mm. She would sell them to me in kilos. So if I bought one like this, it would be equivalent maybe of 2,000 shillings. Mm. Now I'd sell it to those campuses at 8,000 shillings or 10,000. Business is here, you know, campus and in Okurumba. Actually, they are the biggest market. 
they're the biggest market. They have money. They have money. Um, was it? Yes, past. Yes. Yes. So, how do you leave Lukongiri to come to Kampala? Uh, when I was coming to campus. You were coming to campus? Yes, please. No English Chibuga? Yes, past. Te wasanga mitawana jaja group eyo? Um, fortunately, I came to campus when I was focused because you came when you were focused. focused. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by being focused? I knew where I was coming from. You knew where you were coming from. So if somebody doesn't know where they are coming from, they're in trouble. They don't know where they are going. Is it easy for someone to forget where they're coming from? Yes, Pastor. Yes, it is. Why do they forget where they're coming from? Why? Um, I would say sometimes there's uh, peer pressure. Peer pressure can cause to forget where you're coming from. Yes. You come to campus, you come to Kampala, you're from Lukunji, so many kilometers away from Kampala. Mm -hmm. You meet other uh, students, probably who have grown up in Kampala, they are from well-to-do families. You, maybe you're in the same, the same class, mm. the same group, and you, you forget your background. You're coming you from actually, Okuungiri. Yes. Uwekasek, uwekororo. Yes. So you join these ones who have, gone, who have grown up in Kampala, who have different lifestyles, who can club anytime, they can dodge uh, lectures anytime they but want. But are they on the advantage or they are losing also? Uh, of they, course, they, they are also losing, but they don't know it. Because I, I think we can take it to another level until forget where you're coming from, doesn't know, talk about geographical location. Am I right? It's not about geographical location. Oh, no, no, it's no, about, about the family it's background. About your background. Uh. Yes. So if you forget your family background, how your parents are struggling, mm. because me, when I was coming to campus, actually, I remember my mother had um, a RECO mattress. She gave me that mattress, a RECO, RECO mattress. RECO mattress. It's a, it's a, type of, uh, it's yes. a type of mattress. I think they are no longer in existence, yes. So she gave me her mattress. Um, yes. Yes, because it was, I think, a uh, four by six mattress. So because I was coming to Kampala, she gave it up. And gave it to me. So imagine if I come to Kampala and start going club. Actually, me, I finished campus when I didn't know what club a club means. Oh, you Yet sure? I had friends mm. who would go clubbing, but every time I would think about my mother, sometimes I would plan and say, I want to go and visit Angela because I, to, I used to hear about it when I was in school. And I was so eager to, to go there and see how Angela looks like. But every time I would plan with my friends to go, I would sit and think about my Where mother. Where you're coming from. Yes. I'd be like, what if I'm coming back at three in the night on a border border and you're not dead? So because I, I was focused to, to, to probably uh, put my mother to another level, I never, I was, I was not influenced by any peer, peer pressure. So, being focused, number one is forget, not to trust, to try not to forget where you're coming from. Sure. Yes. That's uh, very key. But sure. sir, before, before I leave that, uh -huh. about the mattress, when I finished school, when I finished campus, I was retained as a teaching assistant, as I was doing my master's. My first time. You also did a master's. Yes, Pastor. So I'm sitting with master's, master degree holders here. Yes, yes Pastor. I also hold a master degree in. <laughs> Amen. Soon to be PhD holders. Uh -huh. the, first in, uh, the first salaries, I think two, because we are getting little since we are being sponsored. So just getting like an allowance. So I, the, the university held you? Yes. Why? Um, because they were sponsoring our masters. Okay. We're studying for free. So we would be assisting, uh, assisting lecturers okay. to do uh, tutorials, marking, and all that. So my first two salaries, I bought a six-by-six six mattress, 
reko for my mother and a bed. And you took it back. Yes. <laughs> wow. So, be f forgetting where you're coming from. Talk about that, Evie. Uh, not so. Um, you're asking not to forget where you're coming it from. To help somebody that forget where you're coming from is a, is dangerous. It's dangerous. Yes, it is so dangerous, Pastor. The Bible says, uh, train a child in the way you want them to to grow up, and they will never depart from those ways. Mm. Um, there are two ways to eat. In Rosette's uh, case, it was uh, a humble background. A humble background. Yes. Then there is also the background where you're probably your parents are established. Mm. But again, they have raised you up so well mm. that you actually follow the right route. Mm. And that is in my case. Mm. Yes. It is so... I am so humble for starters. As I rightly said before, you can begin humble. And then you become a great person. Mm. She began from a humble background. Yes. But I'm so honored to actually sit on this panel with her. Yes. And you know, and, and, and see that and hear the story that you know what? I began from a humble background. I didn't ever forget where I came, came from. from. I didn't ever forget where I came from. Our 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 backgrounds actually define who we are. Our background defines Define who we are. are. And it, it will, it, it, it's up to you to let it define where you will go. It might be humble, as then you become very focused, and it actually ends up okay. Do you, do you know, you millennials, many of you, when you come from such a background, you don't even want to talk about it, you don't even want to, want to identify with it, you, True. you try to pull it up. Why? True, True. It is so unfortunate. Of course, uh, Society dictates. Yes, society dictates. Mm, society dictates. Society dictates, but it w it is so it is so it is so heartwarming to actually hear a story of a humble background and how you turn out. You turn out so good in life. It is so it is so heartwarming. But of course, society de determines. You know that people hide those backgrounds, your friends, you want to fit in. But do you really fit in? Or really? You don't fit in because you're living a lie. <laughs> you don't fit in because you're living a lie. And then secondly, your, your background, your story would actually be a story for another person. Yeah. Will be a survival story for another person that if, if Ivy actually made it out of there, mm. I can also make it out of there. Rosette, so why do people hide their, those, that kind of background? In the, but why do why you feeling so inferior sharing those the, the stories? Gabazi kwe kabukwez. Mvukana jana mukwana mugamba bakuzala. Basa, I think it's just pride. I can call it pride. Is it pride? Yes. What type of pride? You don't is want that? to accept where you have come from. But it's an idiot pride. Mm, foolish pride, I Foolish pride. Raji. Raji, what do you want to People don't want to... Uh, probably, like, like you said, if uh, we feel shy about it, we don't want people to know where we've come from, not knowing that it is people's stories that change many lives out there. 